Ready? Here we go. No thinking about it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why Welcome to Santorini. It is the island of more churches than houses, more donkeys than people, and more wine than water. Cheers. Mmm. That's a good one. It's a really good one. <laughs> Let me taste yours. Mm, yeah. No. This is a Fredo Cappuccino. It is a drink that you have to have when you're in Santorini. It's basically an iced Frappuccino Cappuccino, Greek style. Good. We've had about uh, 42 of them this week, so we're experts. <laughs> so we're on our way to the Red Beach. We rented an ATV to get there. It's about 30 minutes from where we're staying, and this is our ATV trip. I'm sorry. Get to the Red Beach. It's quite a hike, but totally worth it. So we finally made it to the Red Beach, and as you can see behind me, the crystal clear Aegean is in stark contrast to the Red Rocks. We're not the only ones that have found this beach. There's plenty of people hiking in. Even though there's tons of people, it's totally worth the trek. What'd you think of the Red Beach? I thought the Red Beach was incredible. I can't believe it took me one, two, three, four times to Santorini until I saw the Red Beach. Fourth time's a charm. It was totally worth it. Very touristy, very crowded, so I would like to go back at sunrise. Can we do that? Can we come back at sunrise, please? Sure. Okay. So Santorini is part of the Greek islands called the Cyclades. I didn't even know they were called the Cyclades. Yeah. Cyclades. So we're at the Grace Hotel in Santorini, and this infinity pool right here is known as one of the top 10 infinity pools in all of the world. Condé Nast Traveler said it, so it must be true. But you can watch. You'll be on the edge of the caldera in an infinity pool, watching the sunset over beautiful Santorini and the Aegean Sea. Definitely worth a visit when you're in Santorini to come down to the bottom of Ia and go jump off the little ledge and do some cliff jumping. Whoa, am I not gonna hit those rocks? No, they're super deep. Those rocks are super deep. So how am I running and doing this? You just get momentum and just don't worry about like a hard push-off. Just keep moving. Ready? Here we go. No thinking about it. Three, two, one, go. And we survived. <laughs> and then you can see the view of Ia behind us. There's 
actually a church on the island. So you go to Amudi Bay, and you walk out about five to seven minutes, and you look on a little spot where everyone is sunbathing, and then you swim out to this rock. There's a staircase, as you can see people going up the staircase. And then there they are, about to jump off. So we just finished the little cliff jumps on Amudi Bay. It was a pretty good time. It's basically about jumping off a high dive. But you just gotta make sure you clear the rocks. Really the hardest part is getting there and back when you walk on a ledge like this. French fries, tomato, onion, pork, and tzatziki all wrapped up in a soft, doughy pita bread. It smells like victory. It is your hunting time. Can't stop, won't stop. We're in Ia, and we found the spot. I believe it's called Nikos. It's where the locals go. We've been hunting far and wide to find some good wrapped gyros and I think we found the place. It only took nine days for us to find this epic gyro restaurant but uh, now we've been there twice in 24 hours. So we're in Santo Maris and it is one of the quietest places and best places to watch the sunset. Shh. It's very quiet. So usually you have to go to Ia downtown Ia to watch the sunset, but here at Santo Maris, you are in Ia still, but it's quiet and there's no tourists, and you still get this incredible sunset. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Hi guys, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Romaru. And if you want to see the most epic travel adventures around the world, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.